like uh, the the convention on, on relating to one being uh, a, a refugee with the episodes that have happened do you think we can describe his disappearance to what uh, the international instruments say on him being in a situation of well-rounded fear due to his political standing. That is up to the country where he's going to determine. Because the issue of asylum is determined by the country where you want to seek refuge. Okay? But let me, uh, but let me, uh, let me say this, mm. Alexander. Sure. You know, we joke a lot in this country. We joke a lot. And I think it's high time we got serious if we are going to move this country forward. Okay? There was, there was the, I'm on the platform, you know, uh, with Lars. There's a Lars platform. And somebody posted that uh, uh, the lawyers, uh, Lars must make a statement uh, to the effect that J.J. Uh, Banda is a political prisoner. Because I think some NGO, you know, civil society organization had uh, suggested that. And somebody was saying, why doesn't Lars, you know, join into this? And I got into that uh, and I, you know, oh, I posted. Okay? I said, you know, wait before Lars embarrasses itself. Okay? A political prisoner, by definition, is somebody that has been incarcerated for his opinions, his political opinions about the way society stands and the, what he thinks is going wrong in society. That's a political prison. And they call them prisoners of conscience because the government is stifling, you know, your your capacity to think and express your opinion. Now you tell me, what is so political about Kutundira Muntumukamwa? What is so political about that as an activity? Is that how you express your opinion by Kutundira Muzaku Muntumukamwa? By grabbing cell phones, you know, from other people, is that a political activity? What is wrong with my country? You know? By committing acts of uh, suspected aggravated robbery, is that a political uh, a political activity? Is that a political activity? The answer the answer to all these questions is no. No, no, no. To be indisciplined, is that a political activity? Indisciplined. You're just indisciplined. You don't know how to respect others. You know, and to beat up a police officers, is that a political activity? So if, when you put at the, these benchmarks and you get the correct definition of a political prison or a prison of conscience, J.J. Banda fails, zero. And yet you find, you know, leaders posting, you know, and others joining, yeah, no, you know. We even fear now where he is. I go back to the same point. Who can he, you know? Who can abduct him, you know, or kidnap, you know? Surely, even between me and J.J. Banda, if the government were given a choice, I'm a better person to abduct or kidnap. If they were just given two people, Winter Kayuba and J.J. Banda, and you told anybody in the government, you know, whom do you want to abduct him? They will say Winter is of more value than J.J. Banda. Why are we giving value, you know, to people that uh, can't tip the scale?